Hi, Dr. Naveen Vanga here, and today we're going to be reviewing how to set up the operating room for a basic anesthetic. We are going to be following the MS Maids mnemonic, which stands for Machine, Suction, Monitors, Airway, IV, Drugs, and Special Equipment. Okay, here we are in the operating room. Let's go ahead and get started with M for machine. Machine setup is going to vary between institutions and particular models, but there are a couple things that are universally important to check. Let's first begin by turning on the machine. Now the machine is going to take anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes to run through its logistics, so in the meantime we can check a couple other things. Let's take a look at the vaporizers. Make sure that each vaporizer is adequately filled. Now that we've checked the vaporizers, let's go to the back of the machine to check the e-cylinders. Here we are at the back of the machine. It's important to make sure that you have a wrench and that each cylinder is adequately filled. At our institution, we keep the AMBU bags at the back of the machine also, so it's important to make sure you have one of these just in case you need one. Okay, let's go back to the front of the machine. Depending on your machine, you may have to run additional tests, such as an oxygen calibration test or a negative pressure test. Fortunately for us, this machine actually automatically does all these tests. Now, this machine runs its own diagnostics. It's going to tell you the last time it did a test. It's going to give you the results of that test. It's also going to give you the information about the last leak test that it performed, when, and the results of it. Last of all, make sure you have a circuit and a bag attached to the machine. And that completes the machine part. Let's move on to suction. At our institution, the anesthesia techs usually set up the suction, but it's important to make sure that it's working. The second M in MS Maids stands for monitors. So check to make sure that the display is adequately configured and that you have the appropriate monitors for the case. In this case, we're going to need a pulse oximeter, a blood pressure cuff, EKG leads, and a temperature probe connector. Now let's talk about the airway. So we're going to have some 4x4s with a couple different oral airway sizes, two different laryngoscope blades, it's important to check each blade to make sure the light is working. And two different endotracheal tube sizes. Make sure you check the patency of each cuff. And optionally, you can insert a stylet. Okay, now we're on the eye part of MS Maids. Let's go ahead and make an IV bag. What I have here is a liter of LR and a Tony dropper. Spike the IV bag and then go ahead and flush the IV line until there is no longer any air in the IV tubing. Okay, the IV bag is complete. Let's prepare an IV start kit. So for the IV start kit, you're going to need some 4x4s, prep material, a tegaderm, tape, a tourniquet, saline flush and a catheter cap, and a couple different size IVs. And this is our IV start kit. Let's talk about the D for drugs. This is our basic drug setup. Off to the right, we have our induction agents, propofol, lidocaine, rocuronium, and fentanyl. On the top, we have our emergency drugs, ephedrine and phenylephrine. And to the left, we have our reversal agents. In this case, we're using glycopyrrolate and neostigmine. And those are the drugs. The last letter in MS Maids is S, which stands for special equipment. 
And that's if you need anything particular for the case you're doing. That concludes our operating room setup. We are now ready to begin the procedure. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'm Dr. Naveen Vanga. Oh, we're still doing that? No, I guess not. Oh. We're going to show these videos, and like, I mean, all of this is out of safety regulations for the hospital. What are you doing? The whole hospital system is going to shut down.